Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get an app called Cyberflix to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing app that you can use to watch movies or TV shows totally for free. And they even got the newest movies in here, including the ones which are only available in movie theaters. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact movies available in the app. But in your case, of course, it's not going to blur it. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Cyberflix to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. Here they are. We open them, scroll down and go to My Far TV. Here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually super easy to make them appear. Just go to About right here at the top, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, so if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here you'll have to locate the loader, which is right here. So turn that option on, and what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here, open it, and here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, we just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Malta right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for an RPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So finally, let's go and open the loader from the list of your application. And then here, on the left side menu, make sure to click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on home and then here in the search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be two, eight, nine, zero, and seven. So once again, the code is two, eight, nine, zero, seven. Make sure that you have entered it correctly. And after that, you have to click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website loaded, it should open a web page now in a couple of seconds. 
Yep, there it is. So we have to scroll down just a bit until we see a list of categories. And from the list, we'll have to click on the Movies and TV category, which is right here. So let's click on it. Then a new web page is going to open, which we also have to scroll down until we find the Cyberflix TV, which is right there. So here, Cyberflix TV, that's exactly what we're looking for. Let's click on it. And then an ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry and just click on close or on X, depending on what kind of ad you see, to close down the ad. In my case, I have to click on close. So we click on it. And now a new web page should open up for us in a couple of seconds. Yep, there it is. Now let's scroll down the page until we see the Download Fire TV Android TV button. It should look exactly like this one. So take a good look and click on the same button on your device. And in a couple of seconds, the download is going to start. Usually that doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the connection speed. Then you have to click on Install and wait until Cyberflix gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you are using. And then don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way we will be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on Delete and then Delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from the Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now finally let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here, open it, wait until it loads for you, scroll down and here you'll find Cyberflix, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Cyberflix is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.